Hi, my name is Abdur Rahman. I suffered a brain stem stroke in 2008, shortly after my wife died after childbirth in November 2006, hence I can't talk. I was struggling to be understood and I was struggling up using my mobile phone to talk especially since my arms are more constricted than before. I can speak Arabic and Punjabi, English being my first language. I used to use Google Translate to speak Arabic with my daughter in Morocco, and Punjabi with my mum. I used Google Translate when I was feeling lazy and didn't want to think in Arabic or Punjabi. It allows you to type in English and then it allows you to translate it into your target language, or vice versa. It's about 80% accurate, so I have to proofread it and make sure it's translated what I want to say. If I find the translation to be incorrect, I have to rephrase the English or edit the Arabic or Punjabi. You can click on the speak button or click the copy button and then paste in other apps like WhatsApp etc. Or you can just click on the share icon button which you want share with WhatsApp or other apps and it is a lot quicker and easier than copying and pasting. I found it to work the best and very easy to use. My friend helped me find it after I googled it. There is a Google Translate app which is easier to use as it is more user friendly. My speech and language therapist asked me the right questions and put me in touch with the ACE Center and they asked me the right questions like what other languages do I speak and my daughter and mum can't speak English. So the situation was very frustrating. After the ACE Center provided me with a TD pilot, I now use iGaze, which is a lot easier to use than my phone. I now use a combination of TD Talk and TD Snap. On the TD Talk, it doesn't have Arabic or Urdu so I use TD Snap to speak Arabic or Urdu, but the Arabic version offers predictive text. Whilst the Urdu version doesn't so typing takes a lot longer, I'm told that they are working on making predictive text available for TD Snap, for Punjabi. Catherine Small and the team from the ACE Center and my speech therapist asked me the correct questions. I was so keen on and wanted my English understood. So even though it was very frustrating for both me and my mum and daughter, it didn't cross the mind to mention it as I was using English to communicate. I think every assessor should ask what other languages you speak. It would save a lot of frustration for the AAC user, their families, friends and carers. I was diagnosed as dyslexic at university. So predictive text is important. I have typed this text using predictive text. I'm grateful to the ACE Center for providing the TD pilot. Thank you.